right, so I noticed my YouTube channel is blowing up a little bit, which is pretty cool. My my subscribers have almost tripled in a few months, which is really cool. Um, now, there's tons of videos on my channel. The drug addict one is everybody's, you know, pinnacle, I guess. Um, I don't know. It was like eight years ago. <laughs> Whoopie shit. I find a guy that was on drugs in my shop. And I get all these dipshits of society talking smack. And you know, the problem we have today is nobody's held accountable. Everybody hides behind a keyboard. And it's very easy to 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 talk shit about somebody who can punch you in the face and knock you on the ground without having that happen. And and that's the problem with the world. And, and I remembered as a kid, you know, I've been punched in the face and knocked on the ground a few times as, 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 you know, as growing up in an arena of, I don't know, men were men, so to speak. I don't know, but it, it, it was different. It was different. And if you did the wrong thing, you paid the price for it and you learned from that. In this, today's coddling bullshit society, where school is the biggest bullshit and I don't want to use words I don't know <laughs> what they are because we all know my education was uh, a couple of months of community college till I realized it was a crock of shit and couldn't do it um, the nice thing is I can buy and sell just about everybody I know with a college education because I'm I have hustle, ambition, and drive. And that's something people don't have today is hustle, ambition, and drive. They have, okay, go to school, listen to what they tell us, do what they tell us, and act as they tell us. And everybody's a victim. Everybody's a victim. You know, back when I was a kid, there'd be a fan on the table with sharp blades this big, and you could fit your whole hand in there and get them practically cut off. So you knew not to put your hand in the fan. But as years went on, the fan has changed. It's plastic. It's covered with the grating where you can't even get your pinky in. So you don't learn. You know, one kid gets his fingers cut off, boom. None of the other kids used their hands to stick in the fan. And that's how things worked. You mouthed off to the wrong kid, you got punched in the face. And nobody mouthed off to the kid anymore. Um, I'm going to never forget. I, 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 I was walking into school one day, and I watched this tall kid. He was a new kid. Dirtbag, like me at the time. And he... I watched him. The, the nerds always carried more books, you know? So I watched him go up to these two nerds and knock all their books out of their hands behind them like this all over the place and I just I had gotten to a fit of rage I hip checked the kid and I beat his ass and, and he was big he was really big so, so I didn't feel bad about beating his ass because he was so much bigger than I was and, and, and the problem with that was I was a nerd hero from then on in I could be a nerd hero. I'm a dirtbag. I'm a burnout, you know? I, I couldn't fit in with those guys. But regardless, it was right to do what I did at that time. And that kid, that big kid, became somewhat of a humble bitch, especially in my presence from that day forward because of consequence. Because he knew he'd get an ass beating for doing stupid shit. <laughs> um... I did actually have one of those kids help me out with, with cheating on a few tests over the years, which was beneficial. But regardless of that, um, school today is this victimhood crock of shit. Everybody's a victim. And what they do is, and, and listen, I, I, I'm no Jordan Peterson, I'm no Ben Shapiro, I'm no Brett Weinstein, I'm no intelligent, educated guy 
who can really articulate everything with those big words, which I think is part of the problem. Because I think those guys are way too intelligent. And, you know, I watch their videos usually twice because I pick everything up second time around. But I'm smart enough to know that I agree with what most of what they say. And I, I, I get the gist of everything they say. I just kind of pick it up. Because if I had an education, I probably would have been a lot more intellectual than I am. Regardless of that shit. School today is, to me, is, is a problem. It's like they're putting a tribe of people together that, that are, are like horses with blinders marching to the beat of the drum or walking in the same line. And as a kid, I would watch TV and I'd never look at what was in front of me. I'd always look at what was behind me. And I noticed that in my children. And thank God I have three good kids. I have really good kids who are intuitive, who, who are intelligent, who, who get it, who see it also. And, and I purposely didn't bring them up, you know, beating this into their head or teaching them you know, who to like, not who not to like. I, I let them be who they were and I watched them grow into these kids, or at their age anyway, kind of see people for who they are and no good from bad regardless of color, race, religion, sexuality, what have you. Because I don't give a shit what you look like, who you sleep with, or where you go to church or temple. It doesn't make a difference to me. How you treat me is how I react towards you. And one thing I've noticed is I've turned a few people on to leftist people, so to speak, you know, very liberal people, so to speak. I used to think I was liberal, but I guess I'm not anymore because of what the hell I see every day. But I, 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 I turned a few people onto to Jordan Peterson's videos, Ben Shapiro's videos. And what I've noticed is they watch and they hear, but they don't listen and they don't get it. And indisputably, I put a video on of Jordan Peterson say tearing up a feminist broad, just putting her in a place in our own show. And it's so plain to see by anybody who has somewhat of a brain to realize that he's right and she's wrong and she's an asshole for it. But they don't get it. And I watch and I realize that it's not that they don't get it. They do not want to get it. They don't want to understand They don't want to figure it out. They're like a horse with blinders on. And that's what happens. They're blinded. Effing blinded. By whatever it is to make them not understand. So, so where I'm at now is... I'm gonna get killed. Where I'm at now is I realize my focus should be on my kids. Because my kids are going to school. I have 13-year-old twins and a 17-year-old. And we're shopping colleges now. And I already see it now. I talk to my kids about what they can and cannot say in front of their friends. And God forbid they say they like Trump if they do. Let's just say they go to school and mention they like Trump. They're telling me their peers will somewhat condemn them. Which I think is ridiculous. I'm hearing that they can't really express their true feelings amongst their peers, and I think that's horrible. And the problem I see, especially right here in Long Island, is parents are working, working, working to pay for the three cars and a driveway and all the rest of the bullshit and the overpriced taxes that they don't have the time it takes to really focus on what the kids are learning and deriving from school, and they just accept it, you know living in a world of just accepting, you know, accept the way shit is, and, you know, feed me shit, and let me open my mouth, dump it down my throat, and I'm fine with that, well, I was never that guy, I never got fed shit, and I, I don't care who it was, where it was coming from, or who was feeding it to me, I, I just had no use for it, so, my main focus is on my kids, and, and 
I want to bring them up to have their own views, their own opinions, and not be afraid of what to say or do in front of others. And I, I'd love to teach them how to handle that when they are in that situation with others. My problem is I'm not educated enough to really, you know, I can give them what it takes inherently to put people in check, but I can't give them the articulate aspect of it, you know. They'll have to learn that. The problem is, where do they learn that? They learn that in school. And what are they going to learn in school? They're not going to learn how to defend themselves against a bunch of way leftist, feminist, over-liberal assholes. They're going to learn to be one. And, and that's my concern. But I, I, I'm, I'm seeing that I already have that in check. I'm seeing that I already have that. I, they're already, already in check with that. I just like to warm the car before I go to work. Um, good for the oil. So, look, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. But school is damning. It's damning. It's controlling. And I decided just today that I'm going to look further into what my kids are actually learning and what they're actually doing try to gauge what it is my school, my kid's school is really trying to, um, you know, put in their brains. So, so that's what I'm going to do. And the problem is, you know, my wife is going to be, she's always worried about me and my mouth. You know, I'm always like a bull in a china closet. Uh, she always thinks I'm going to see, I don't give a shit who you are, where you're from. If I got a problem with you telling me, I'm going to let you know right away. Straight away, you're going to hear my mouth if there's something not right. And there was a situation where we were sitting down with five teachers, and I saw where it was going. They wanted to put my son on drugs. And I got into him like a machine gun and put this bitch in check like nobody's business. And my wife was embarrassed. The next day, she knew I was right. And it, it ate away on her. And she knew that teacher was a nasty bitch and couldn't handle my son. So that teacher wanted him on drugs so he's more malleable so she could do her job easier. I wasn't having it. My son's a very intelligent kid, but unfortunately, he's into the video gaming, you know, sit in front of a screen all day, bullshit nonsense of today's society, which I haven't yet figured out how to break him away from. However... I do intervene. I do get them to do things other than use their thumbs for pressing buttons. I get them to use their hands. I turn them on to different things when I can. So we're working on that. We're working on that. But today's lesson, I guess, would be, holy shit, kids, what are you really learning in school? And if you don't like it, speak up. Say something. I want any young kid who's going to school, who's under a regime of a, of a far leftist, and for lack of a better term, because I'm, again, I'm not as hip on all of the details of the inner workings of this brainwashing bullshit that's taking place. And, 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 and remember, I'm not an educated guy by any means, but I'm a smart guy. At the end of the day, the fact that I can buy and sell half the idiots I know with college degrees says that. So anyway, I think it's time to go to work, uh, get some shit done and pay some bills, but I want you kids out there, anybody out there, if you don't like what's going on at school, if you really don't like it, bust somebody's balls about it, but do it in the proper manner. Don't jump it up and down, don't yell. Get your argument in check. Know what it is you have a problem with. And, oh shit, I've got no place to park. Go make a U-turn and figure it out. This is, this is what I'm asking. I, I want everybody. Look at what's going on in their school. I don't care what grade you're in. I don't care if you're in kindergarten, college. I don't care. Parents, anybody who's involved in some kid's schooling. Look deep into what the hell is going on there. Because I believe it's a catastrophe. Look deep into what's going on. And then come to me. Here's one of my employees. I'll be a nice guy, give him a ride. Send him to Connecticut today, he doesn't even know. 
Found a good deal on a lathe. So, he's got to go.